Do you know what is the best roller coaster in the world? Bitcoin. 2022 has been a rough year for Bitcoin. In the late 2021, the price of one Bitcoin was around $67,000, but at the beginning of 2022, the price went down to $47,000. Since then, the price has gone up and down between $35,000 to $45,000. So, has Bitcoin reached its peak already, or are there better days ahead? At least some experts say that Bitcoin could hit $100,000 in 2022. Actually, they say that it's more a matter of when, not if. So why does Bitcoin's chart look like this? There are three main reasons, inflation, regulation and the war in Ukraine. In this video, we will take a look at all these three reasons, starting with the inflation. Inflation has been all around the news for months now, as the prices keep on going up. In 2021, the inflation rate in the US was 7%. In January 2022, the annual gain was already at 7.5% and in February even more than that, 7.9%. In March, it will most likely be even more than that, as oil has increased in price. Because the inflation keeps on rising all the time, the Federal Reserve has finally decided to do something about it. For the first time since December 2018, the Fed approved a 0.25% increase to interest rates. They also plan to increase the interest rates at each of the remaining six meetings in 2022. But what does all of this have to do with Bitcoin? When interest rates start to rise, people tend to invest in less riskier investments. This is because higher interest rates mean that less riskier instruments will also start to pay more interest than before. Because of this, the risks of high yield instruments might become too high compared to the possible rewards. To put it simply, why would you invest in riskier investments to have a small possibility of earning $10 when you can get a safe $5 elsewhere? As Bitcoin is one of the higher risk investments, higher interest rates should mean lower demand for Bitcoin. The higher the demand is, the higher the price of Bitcoin is, so a lower demand would mean that the price of Bitcoin is going down. In January, as the Fed announced that they will likely increase the interest rates in 2022, Bitcoin started to decrease in price from around $43,000 to $35,000. However, this time, March 15th, as the interest rates increased, the opposite happened. As the Fed announced that the interest rates will be increased by 0.25%, Bitcoin actually went up by 4%. Now if this makes it sound like higher interest rates mean that Bitcoin's price will go up multiple times this year, as the Fed plans to increase the interest rates. But according to the experts, the interest rate hikes are unlikely to change the long-term picture for the asset. As cryptocurrencies are a very volatile investment, these 4% movements are quite normal for it. So over a longer time period, interest rates won't affect the price of Bitcoin as much as other factors. If there was nothing else happening in the market, only interest rate hikes every now and then, then the price of Bitcoin would most likely see a bear market as the demand for Bitcoin would decrease. But in the larger picture, interest rates are just a small drop in the ocean, as other factors affect the price a lot more. For example, geopolitical factors. This is when Russia began its invasion of Ukraine on the 24th of February 2022. After a week, Bitcoin's price had increased by 16%. As the Western countries started to sanction Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, the ruble has tanked and the Russian economy is crumbling. Since companies like Mastercard, Visa, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal and many more have shut down their operation in Russia, it is nearly impossible for Russia to use their credit cards or even access their bank accounts. Because the ruble is tanking, the demand for Bitcoin in Russia increases, but in my opinion, all of this isn't really the reason why the Bitcoin increased so much in value. It is the Bitcoin investors' hope for a better future that made the price higher. Bitcoin has always been seen as the future of the currency, just wait until everything goes wrong in the world and the new digital gold will be what everyone will be using. And at the moment, everything is really going wrong in the world, as the sanctions are affecting everybody's life, and even worse than that, there are countries in a war, and people are losing their lives. But after the huge increase in price, the price actually started to decrease again. Why? Even though Bitcoin's demand suddenly increased after Russia started the war in Ukraine, it has then started to decline again. Those who could really benefit from cryptos are the Russian oligarchs and banks subject to sanctions as they have the resources, but the mainstream crypto service providers like Coinbase and Binance are complying with sanctions making it impossible to use these services. 
there are still hundreds of other providers that might still allow Russians to use crypto to bypass sanctions, but the fact that cryptos are highly traceable makes it a lot harder to do it. So yes, cryptos can be used to avoid sanctions, but it isn't done at the levels that made the price skyrocket. The regular Russians that are struggling as the ruble and the economy of Russia crumbles are not able to use cryptos in their everyday lives. Even if they were able to purchase and sell cryptos, they need to have money now, immediately, to survive. When you are a 70 year old babushka fighting for sugar, the price of Bitcoin is your last concern. So the reason why Bitcoin increased so much in the price is not the fact that it will save all the problems a country in a war has. In my opinion, as Russians started to have more interest in cryptos, financial services got hit by sanctions, Ukraine started to accept crypto donations, and Anonymous started to offer $52,000 in Bitcoin for each surrendered thank, the investors started to see that cryptos might have a bright future ahead. This hope made the price of Bitcoin increase, but after the spike, investors became more aware that the world is not ready for Bitcoin, since you can't really make any day-to-day -day purchases with it. But who knows, maybe in the future we will have a universal currency, and that currency might be Bitcoin. Even though Bitcoin sadly can't save the world from war, it is great to see that Ukraine has received millions in crypto donations, and has been able to use it in military supplies and humanitarian support. While cryptos are not changing the world yet, you can still have a huge impact on helping a country in a war with just your phone. This war, however, had one huge effect on cryptos. The executive order on ensuring responsible development of digital assets. As the concerns started to rise about Russia using cryptocurrency to avoid the sanctions, more and more lawmakers started to become more aware of cryptos and their importance. This is one of the reasons why the President of the United States, Joe Biden, issued the executive order on cryptocurrencies. This made the price of Bitcoin increase a lot in a short time, as the regulation might actually be a good thing for the future of Bitcoin. The order itself doesn't really change anything about cryptos, it is more like a call to action for different agencies to find out everything about crypto, so that the government can find the positives of crypto and tackle its negatives. In short, the crypto regulation could be a good thing for investors. More regulation could mean that the crypto market could finally become less volatile, making it more appealing for investors that are now avoiding it. The regulations can also protect the investors from the frauds, which is obviously a good thing. However, for many investors, the fact that cryptos are not regulated as much, and that cryptos are not backed by institutions and governments, is what makes them appealing in the first place. From this point of view, the regulations are a bad thing for the future of cryptos. Overall, the regulations could be a good thing or a bad thing for crypto investors. Having a clear set of rules would eliminate all the what-if questions, give more stability in the very volatile crypto market, and make cryptos more safe for investments, as the risk of scams and frauds decreases. On the other hand, if the regulations become way too strict, and for example ban some cryptos completely, the effect could be seen as a negative. But that is something we will see in the future, after the agencies are done with their studies of crypto. As for now, the crypto executive order does not really have any effects for cryptos, as it was just a call to action. Talking of call to actions, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for weekly financial videos. Make sure to check out the videos on the left side of the screen to know how your first $100,000 can make you quickly a millionaire. I'll see you soon. Bye.